But I used to have these panic attacks when I was little. I ran into my parents' room screaming like in my sleep, you know, because I'd be thinking too much on them. In middle school, I learned to really calm down with that and really not try to think on things too much and, and you know, think logically of, about what I'm doing, but not overwhelm myself. That's what helped um, me move on. Kevin Ross and I am a server at Raffle Cafe. This is my first serving job actually in LA. I've been here for two and a half years and the first two years I couldn't really get anything because they, they want LA experience, whatever that is. Growing up in Kansas was, uh, it was it was fun. It was really, it's really good people there. They're, they're really respectful, they, they care about you. And if you're totally fine with this, you know, doing the whole American dream, doing, you know, working eight hours a day, nine to five, then that, it's a great place to do that and raise, raise a family. As far as anything else fun or being adventurous, you have to get out. They say that I did hurt you. I was very nerdy. I, I mean, I, was, I wore the same yellow jacket for almost like a week straight sometimes. I would be quiet, I was shy. In middle school, about seventh or eighth grade, I started getting more confidence. I think I got my hair cut. I was maturing. I was getting handsomer, I guess. Um, I got more confidence, and then confidence goes a long way. My freshman year, I decided to run for president. I actually won. That, you know, thrived my confidence. That's what the initial change was, me winning that and knowing that people trusted me and believed in me. So that was the initial thing that made me change. About it, Republic of Laughter. My initial interview with Alex, and we met, we talked, and and he, I think he's really good. Alex and, and the rest of the team at Rafa are really good at picking out people who who they feel that are honest and people who are genuine. And I'm glad they found me because they're about positive energy, you know, which is that's how I kind of describe it to our uh, customers a lot as a server. I say, you know, Rafa Cafe, it's a positive energy restaurant. You know, we're all about, you know, we're joy, laughter, luck. You know, I show them our bands and. And I let them know that, you know, we, we wear these because we, we actually are positive and happy people. Negativity brings people down. A long day at work and you're just, you know, getting yelled at from someone, that, that'll bring you down. And Raffle, their philosophy is to bring people up and have everybody, you know, enjoy good food in a good environment with good service. And that's, you know, good quality. That's what we want at Raffle. I've actually had a few tables. Uh, multiple people ask for me, you know, is Kevin? You always tell your tell your customer your name, you know, so you can just let them know who you are because you're a person, you know, we're all people and, you know, it makes me feel good that I, you know, they remember me and I remember them and their faces or I remember their orders. You only live once, which I think that's a good philosophy to go. And I also have a tattoo I just got recently says never give up and I um, put it on my chest so I um, would always remember you know I, I'm not, not only my career or my goals my aspirations like I don't give up on people if you give up on someone and they, they they're going through a lot more than you really know and I, I don't want that for anybody so I, I you know that's why I put that never give up on me so I don't give up on people or life you know and, and things in general <laughs>